Hi, I'm Tracy from Barunga Library. How's everyone today? This is going to be a six week cooking um, segment for six weeks. What's, what's for tea with Tracy? This is the first one I'm going to be doing today, which is a plaster bake. It's really easy. I don't know about you, when my kids were young, I worked full time. As soon as I got through the door, they were like bad price. What's for tea? What's for tea? What's for tea? What's for tea? So these are easy recipes you can do when you first walk in the door when you've got hungry kids, hungry husband, wife, partner. This is a really easy one. My mum used to make this and we loved it when we were kids and I'm making it now. And I made it for my kids and they love it. It's a pasta bake. All you need is um, a kilo of mince, beef mince. I prefer the Coles mince, uh, mince. It doesn't have as much fat as other ones I've tried. We also need one onion, two cloves of garlic. I've we need 250 grams of the spiral pasta. I've already prepared some last night, so you, you cook that, or you can cook that while you're cooking the rest of the frying pan. And everything's done in the frying pan, and then you put it in a casserole dish and chuck it in the oven for half an hour, easy peasy. And you also need two cans or one big can of Heinz Big Red Tomato Soup. It's the best one to use because it gives us a real flavor. So we're gonna start now. So in our frying pan, we just put a splash of oil, any oil, whatever you want. I'm using, what's this one, olive oil, but you can use vegetable oil, whatever oil you've got, it doesn't really matter. So first of all, we'll cut up our onion. Whatever onion you've got, small, medium, it doesn't really matter. So we'll just cut the onion up. Shout out to my co-worker Carol who made me this beautiful apron that I'm cooking in today. She sent it to me as a gift. I am so grateful. She knows I love an apron and this is gorgeous. It's got a dog and a putty cat on it. And I love dogs and cats. Anyone who knows me knows I'm nuts about dogs and cats. Anything really. Okay, so we'll just put the onion in the frying pan. We haven't turned it on yet because we haven't chopped up our bacon or our clove garlic. So get our garlic, cut the little singles and then peel it. If you cut the little knobby's ends off, it makes it easy to peel. Oh dear me. Don't cry, Tracy. <laughs> He's made me teary. I'll be alright. Okay, so when you dice your garlic, once you peel it, you can either use a garlic press if you want, but I just dice it, it like that. If Carolyn can you see. I dice it like that in little things. And then I grab it and I do this little trick. And it cuts it really nice. Like that. And you just scrape it off the knife and give it another one and just dice it like when you you know how you can get minced garlic from the supermarket if you just do it like that that works a treat perfect put that in your frying pan right, i'm going to give my board and hands a wash because i'm going to be cutting bacon up in this now so i'm going to be using Shortcut bacon today. You can use bacon wrap with whatever you like. So I'm going to use four. and then around like that. And then, do that. We'll chuck it in a pan. And then we'll plug it in and we'll turn it on. 
This is an easy recipe to make. It takes about 10 minutes to cut everything up and do everything. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees before you start cooking. If you're cooking your pasta, you can put your pasta on while you're doing this, like, you know, that it can be cooking on the stove. As I said before, I made mine last night and I just put it in a little container. You can make it the night before if you want. And when, you, when you're ready to use it, you just put it in a colander or a sieve, run it under hot water and it makes it brand new, like it's just come out of the pot. Okay, so I've turned my frying pan on and I'm going to stir around this until the onion starts to soften. Smells good. Okay. Then all you do now is you add your meat. together with your spoon. See how easy this is? I mean, like if you've got young kids at home or you're working part-time or full-time, I mean, it's really hard getting meals on the table, you know, because everyone's hungry and you know, they want you to come in and watch the dinner and stuff like that. So these are really easy recipes that you can do for the family that's really easy to, easy, easy to cook and it's really easy you know, to get prepared and it doesn't take much. Most people have bacon and onion meat or tomato soup and oil or pasta in their pantry. So it's not like you have to go out and buy all these ingredients and nine times out of ten you've got at least two or three of these things in your, in your fridge or your pantry. Okay, so our uh, meat's slowly getting ready. Carol can come over and let you know what it looks like. There's a few more little things that aren't brown yet. But as you can see, as I said with these meats that I use from Coles, there's not a lot of fat in it. So it's really, really good to use. Like uh, some of the other minces that I've used from other supermarkets, it's a lot of fat, like there'd be a lot of fat in there. But that's why I choose um, the Coles um, normal regular mince because it's got no fat in it. Okay, why that's still browning, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the pasta that I prepared before. It's 250 grams, I cooked it last night. It's been, you know, in the fridge, but all I need to do to make it look like brand new is put it in a colander and run it under hot water. So I'll do that now. So I'll just bring it over. So that's what it looks like now. So it, oh, dripping everywhere. So it looks like it's just come out of the pot. So what we'll do is we get that pasta, we just chuck it in our casserole dish. I'll get the rest as well. Okay. Okay, so this is ready now. You see everything's browned off. This is when the magic begins. So it's just really easy to do. So we'll turn off the frying pan. Unplug it. And this is all you do now, is get your frying pan over your casserole dish and just chuck it in, into here. This is really easy to do. And it's great for leftovers the next day. Just put them in little containers and you can in the microwave um, if you've got leftovers. But if you've got a, you know, a big family of four or something, you might not have any, but no, you might, you probably will actually, because this does go a long way. Right. Because we're gonna add the soup to it now. I've got two cans of the Heinz 
but normally I use the big can, but I didn't, I couldn't find it at the supermarket. So I've got two cans and it's exactly the same. So what you do now, is you get your soup, pour it in. And then mix it together. That's all you're doing, ladies and gentlemen. Mix it together till it's all combined, like to the soups all the way through the mince and the pasta mix. Could yes. you mix it in the frying pan? Yeah, if you wanted to, you could, but, but we put it in the casserole dish because it goes in the oven for half an hour. But you could mix it in the frying pan. If you wanted to, then turn the frying pan down low and just cook it for another half an hour or so. But the one I've always done is I'll put it in the casserole dish. And then you just put the lid on it, put it in the oven at 180 degrees and cook it for half an hour. And then once it's cooked, I'll bring it out and show you guys what it looks like. Hi, we've just taken it out of the oven. It's been in there for half an hour. So I'm gonna put it in the bowl and show you what it looks like. Yum oh. As I said before, it's really easy to use, easy to do, quick, and you get a lot. And this, get Carolyn to come and have a look, is what the end result is. There you go. And if you like, um, my boys liked used to put cheese on top of it and stir the cheese through. You can do that if you like. And that's what the end result is. Now don't forget to join me next Thursday at five o'clock for What's for Tea with Tracy? And we will be making Thai green veggie curry. So, and we're doing the casserole dish. So I hope to see you then. Have a lovely weekend. Don't forget to join me for What's for Tea with Tracy. Bye.